The Quran does not directly state that the earth is flat, but sometimes a book's meaning has to be pieced together like a jigsaw. This video will do just that. The most important thing, as always, is to put oneself in the position of an impartial reader and only then evaluate the evidence. Otherwise, one's evaluation is biased and flawed. So, the verses in question. 1. Turn your face towards the sacred mosque in Mecca. This is noteworthy evidence for the Quran supporting a flat earth, since on a spherical earth, your face will point into empty space if you're not near Mecca. 2. And he is the one who spread out the earth and placed firm mountains and rivers upon it. 3. As for the earth, we spread it out. 4. And Anna alone spread out the earth. 5. And the earth, how it was levelled out. If these verses just said the earth was spread out or stretched out, this would be significant evidence alone for a non-spherical earth supporting Quran. But the fact Allah spreads it out paints a picture of someone smoothing and flattening out a crumpled bedspread. 6. Have we not smoothed out the earth like a bed? Since a bed or resting place or cradle is flat and definitely not spherical, this verse is the strongest evidence the Quran supports a flat earth worldview. And it is not just the Quran, but also the Hadith, a collection of Muhammad's teachings, that supports a flat earth worldview. Furthermore, the Quran repeats many stories and concepts found in the Bible. The book of Genesis says the earth looks like this. A flat circle of land and sea with the visible night sky under a dome. So it is reasonable to judge this is similar to the Quran's cosmological view. If you're not convinced, let's conduct a thought experiment. Say you live in an isolated cave, far from any human contact, and the only book you could read was the Quran. You read the aforementioned verses. Would you A. Come to the belief that the earth was flat, or B. Come to the correct belief that the earth is an irregularly shaped ellipsoid? On the balance of probability, a reasonable man would choose A. This, then, is the Quran's true meaning, stripped of outside influences. Indeed, it seems that this is what Muhammad and the earliest Muslims believed. In conclusion, the Quran all but declares the earth to be flat, which is strong evidence it is not the perfect word of God, as Allah would know the earth was a sphere. Therefore, Muslims should not believe in the perfect truth of the Quran.